Greetings, Angular Champions. Welcome to Template Driven vs. Reactive, Battle of the Angular Forms. I'm Leandro, your guide to this epic coding clash. Hit that like button, subscribe, and join us in the Angular Arena for more battles. Today, it's a face-off between Angular's two form-handling giants. Let's get ready to rumble. In one corner, we have template-driven forms, known for their straightforward, beginner-friendly approach. And in the other, reactive forms, famous for their dynamic and robust design. Let's break down their attributes before they go head-to-head. -head. Let's start with template-driven forms. They are the agile and intuitive choice, perfect for simpler applications. Their key attributes include simplicity, ideal for quick setups and smaller forms, Two-way data binding. Utilizes NG model for easy data synchronization between model and the view. Minimum boilerplate. The template-driven form is less code-heavy, making it more accessible to beginners. Automatic form object creation. Angular automatically creates form objects based on the template. Directives-based. Template-driven forms use directives like NG model to manage form controls. Validation directly in template. Template-driven forms use inline validation in the HTML, making it suitable for straightforward validation rules. Now, let's dissect reactive forms. They're the strategic choice for complex scenarios. Their attributes include fine-grained control. Reactive forms offer precise control over form behavior. Structured data flow. The forms follow a reactive pattern, making it easier to manage complex data transformations and validations. An immutable data model ensures data integrity and predictability. Asynchronous validation. This supports complex async validation rules. Dynamic form controls. Easily add or remove form controls programmatically. Easier unit testing. Reactive forms are more test-friendly due to decoupling from the UI. Reactive forms leverage RxJS for reacting to form state changes. So which form type should you choose? If your project demands intricate validations, dynamic form fields, and a reactive approach, go with reactive forms. For simpler projects or a more direct, quick setup, template-driven forms are your best bet. And there you have it, the battle of angular forms. Each has its strengths tailored to different needs. Dive in, experiment, and choose the right contender for your project. Like this Angular face-off? Smash that like button, subscribe, and share your Angular battles in the comments. Keep coding, keep battling. This is Leandro. Peace out.